Meet Gerald. He's 74 and enjoys the simple things in life, being alone in nature, reading, listening to rock and roll, and fixing up motorcycles. Yeah, like Leonard Skinner said, you know, be a simple man. His life has looked a bit different lately. Gerald has spent the last year unhoused. Now his life is focused on working to survive. Till I'm dead, I'm going to... I'm going to keep going, man. A friend offered Gerald a place to live in an RV for a while. I stayed there and I was just living off of Social Security. And, uh, man, I couldn't keep up with the repairs on this old RV. After what Gerald deems his RV debacle, he came back to Missoula and got a job at a grocery store. Well, I just moved carts around in a parking lot. His day-to-day -day looks something like this. I work sleep, make a sandwich. This past winter, Gerald was living in the cab of his truck. I grew a lot of sleeping bag and because uh, my truck's got a hump in the middle, try to find a place to put my hips and uh, put one head on the armrest and the uh, my feet on the other one. I'd eat, and I'd turn on the radio, then I'd just drift all the way till I started drifting off. Lately, Gerald has been in a motel. Like I can't tell you how much I appreciate a bed, you know, and I can turn over. And that, uh, yeah, that turning over was quite a chore in a, in a sleeping bag. He's working with the Housing Advocacy Network to find a permanent place to live. I'm not used to this uh, $1,000 apartment stuff. It can get very discouraging because I was getting nowhere by myself. But Gerald has maintained a positive attitude as he tries to save up money, and he is hopeful for the future. Oh yeah, things are gonna get better. You know, it's, I'm, uh, I'm going down in the numbers on the waiting list. Many people, neighbors of ours, are unhoused in Missoula. To those who think being unhoused is a choice or judge people without a home, Gerald says. It could happen to you. You never know when the carpet's going to be pulled out from underneath you. In Missoula, Emily Brown, MTN News.